Waluigi! I one-tricked this blob all the way up to Platinum for Season 10, ending with a 59% win rate within my 25 recent games. That was a big deal considering I never got out of silver before. Seriously, if you're struggling, consider studying macro play and just one-trick a champion. It's so much easier to learn the game. Also, I only played when I felt I was at my best, so if I had the time, I probably could have climbed even higher. So what makes Zack so lovable? For starters, this dude just doesn't die. I've had so many games with zero deaths. In this clip, I don't even have a full armor item and I can basically ignore the turret due to his massive heals. Then he's also got a revival passive and a jump the size of a moon so you can screw up several times and get away for free. Look at this. This is an earth game. Now Zack isn't all that good of a pick in this mode, but if he gets his items, this happens. Zack's ability to turn and disrupt fights are massive. As long as you land your abilities, which isn't too difficult, your enemies can't move for 2-4 to four seconds while your allies beat them into the ground. It's fun. This is what a full combo can look like and it's absolutely devastating if you get a carry in there. Is your top laying out of position and making stupid decisions? Of course! Zack? can fix that. Now flash your mastery like you both calculated that play. There we go. Zack is one of the handful of junglers that you have to watch for constantly because he can show from anywhere, anytime. And if you don't respect that, you're gonna get salty. There's plenty of gank angles at Zack's disposal and you'll learn how the fog of war works over time. If they ward one area, pick another of many, including hiding in a lame brush. That one's my favorite. Zack is a ranged melee, tanky DPS, assassin, mage, tank, support jungler. He excels at everything. Look at this tank's ability to assassinate. Ridiculous. If you landed a full combo and get rid of the minions in the process, you've successfully impersonated Talon. Congratulations. So you say, Nick, okay, okay, Nick, okay, you're telling me I should be worried if I'm alone, therefore, I should stick with my team? Well, yes, but also no. Cool thing about Blob Man is he only gets relatively stronger as the game goes on, and as long as you don't die much, you're in the clear. If you're a big fat filthy feeder like me in this game, he's still useful. His ability to engage and peel always exists. This clip shows me feeding harder than a baby that was just born yesterday, but for the better. Zack's Q2 can attach to anything you can auto. That means plants and wards. You can use an oracle lens to reveal wards you know exist and get a kill you otherwise wouldn't. That's your small bit of skill expression right there. Yep. Zack's a pretty cool dude, but he's not performing as great as before. When preseason hit, his win rate dropped about 4% due to several indirect nerfs. The new items don't suit him well as Sunfire revolves around autos and Zack plays around his abilities. The slow from Gauntlet is mostly useless for the same reasons and the fact that the slow will often overlap your CC and he doesn't make use of chem tank. He lost Cinder Hulk which was amazing for Zack. The cost of his build went up and Grievous Wounds are more available than ever before. Now Nunu is my main and he can be just as obnoxious in a whole new way. 
With that said, I leave you with some bonus clips, including a quadra with each kill making the sound of an impatient college student eating their microwave lava pocket, I mean pizza rolls, a gank gone wrong for everyone except me, and a four hit rift herald because the other team is so rage induced they just wanted to end.